Hallelujah to the Lamb. We've come to the last and final hours of Jesus' life. The years of ministry are over. No more miracles. The healing of the blind eyes. The stretching of the limb hands. No more crowds hollering. Hosanna! Hosanna! To the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. That was Sunday. That was Sunday last Sunday. It's Friday now. The palm branches have dried up. The crowds are long gone. The whole city is silent. The angels, the angels, the angels are silent too. And all of heaven looks on. As the precious lamb of God was about to be led out to be slaughtered. It is in that final hour that Matthew tells us in Matthew chapter 26, if you have your Bible, Matthew chapter 26, beginning in verse 36. Then Jesus came. With his disciples to a place called Gethsemane and he said to his disciples sit here while I go over there and pray and he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee James and John and and began to be grieved and distressed Then he said to them, My soul is deeply grieved to the point of death. Remain, remain, remain here and keep watch with me. And he went a little bit beyond them and fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father. at all <laughs> if at all I, I'm only asking if at all it is possible let this cup pass from me oh, oh. Oh, oh I, I want you to enter into the agony of this hour. Yet not my will, but thy will be done. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. Oh. And said to Peter, So you men could not keep watch with me for one hour. Keep watching and praying. that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. 
and he went away a second time and prayed saying my father if this I hope you already seen the progression now in the prayer if this cannot pass away unless I drink it then thy will be done and he came again and found them sleeping for their eyes were heavy and he left them again and went away and prayed a third time saying the same thing then he came to the disciple and said to them are you still sleeping and taking your rest behold the hour is at hand and the son of man is about to be betrayed into the hands of sinners arise let us be going behold he is at hand that do it betray me the word of the Lord I've titled my message to you on this Good Friday don't sleep don't sleep but while sleeping is good for you I have to also admit that there are some things you go through in life that you can't sleep through oh somebody here going through a Gethsemane knows what I'm talking about Gethsemane is not a place to sleep the text before us says then Jesus came he came with them to a place a garden called Gethsemane good Lord this was just a few hours away from his crucifixion while I may never know how much it cost to see my sin upon that cross but I do know this that the Bible says according to Dr. Luke and his sweat became like drops of blood and the prophet Isaiah says but he was wounded for my transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquities and it was for you and for me that Jesus came to a place called Gethsemane Ooh, Lord help me preach this message from our text this morning on this Good Friday I want to share with you three truths I could share more but for the purpose of time I want to share with you three truths that Gethsemane stands for three truths church are you ready to receive 